Hello and welcome to After Reviews in English and another TLDR look at whatever it is I've reviewed where I mention something good, something bad, what's the best and what's the worst, all in my opinion of course. And today it's the Own Flamingo or Aun Flamingo, have you pronounce it? This was sent to me directly by Own. I have no affiliation with them whatsoever. You can find out more about that and about the device by checking out the full review, which the link is in the description or just head over to atrareviews.com. So something good. Um, something good is the fact that it's a little tiny all-in-one that's compact. It looks cool. Um, it's a decent price and it gives you the option of switching between op-amp or tube just with a little click of a button. I mean, you've got a bit of the, the tube chase one side and, and you've got a clean op-amp at the other side. Um, both sound decent. Something bad would be if you're expecting a huge difference between the op-amp and the tube you're not gonna get that. There is a slight difference, there's a little slight hint of tubiness, but it's really um, not not a huge difference between one and the other. So if you're expecting two completely different sounds, you're not getting that. The best thing is it sounds good in both setups. I mean, both with the tube and without it. It's a nice, enjoyable sound that you can just connect to and not worry about it. And it just, it sounds good overall. And the worst is, in my opinion, the fact that the volume control, now this is quite a little, uh, it's not hugely powerful, but it's got quite a bit of power. But I find that the majority of the power is located in the top 20% of the volume control, which that sort of limits um, how much control you actually have over the, the volume itself. I found myself going quite high to get to a listening level, which is, my listening levels are not high. And then just a couple of clicks more and it was far too loud. So I would say well, that's the best, uh, sorry, the worst. <laughs> that's not the best, that's the worst. Um, but that's really my only complaint about this device. So I guess that's enough. Something good, something bad, the best and the worst. If you want to know more, check out the full review over at ashreviews.com or follow the link in the description. And I'll be back with another one soon. See you later.